Hi everyone, it's Violet and welcome back to another Wildcraft creepypasta hunting video where today I'm going to be looking for the forgotten bull. Now this was a very highly requested creepypasta for me to look for and apparently it's one of those ones that can put your game data at risk so this is going to be interesting. Um, this is also going to be like a tutorial on like how to um, Summon him yourself if you want to try it. So first you want to enter single player, then you want to head over to the savannah map. Alright, now once you're there, you want to find and kill a lion. So this might take me a bit of time to look for the forgotten bull. Usually during- oh! There we go. Found one. That was easy. I was gonna say usually, um... I would give you guys like lore on the creepypastas, but I honestly don't really feel like the Forgotten Bull really has any lore. If I find something, I might do research like mid video, and if I find something, I'll tell you guys. But, anyways, um, I don't know why I'm eating this. So, once you've killed the lion, you want to jump into the nearest water source. So, there are two water sources in this map. So, whichever one you're close to, jump into the water. Um, but while you're mid-jump, you want to go into the menu, so, like, jump in, and then mid-air, you want to go here and change your skin. I'm not sure if you have to change the rarity or not, so I'm just gonna do it anyways. Oh my gosh, it looks like I'm bald. Anyways, <laughs> so you want to exit the menu. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, that's actually not true. You want to make everything on your character black. So like black skin and black eyes as well. Uh, I don't know if you can have any accessories, so I'd recommend just not doing it to be safe. Anyways, there we go. Okay, now, hmm. The video that I watched, as soon as I did this, they glitched through the map. That didn't happen for me, but Nowhere in the video did it say it was a requirement to glitch through the map, so I'm just going to be continuing as normal. So, when the person did this glitch and they were falling through the map, um, what they did is they changed their skin to like- because they were falling, they changed their skin and it like stopped them from falling. I've actually seen this glitch happen before, like in other maps, if you manage to glitch through the map and you start falling, um, if you change your skin it'll like stop and you'll just be underneath the map in like midair. So I'm, I'm gonna change my skin back again. Then it says to do a crit. Now in this context I have no idea what that means because the only way that you can perform a critical attack is if you are attacking an enemy and that happens by random so I'm not really sure what to do here, but what she did was she pressed the attack button, or he, they, I'm not sure. They pressed the attack button, then they did the growl emote, which I can't do in the water, but I clicked on it. Then press the attack button again. Um, but yeah, apparently that was a crit. And then go to your den. Now, apparently, from this step on, this is the part that can put your data at risk. Like, if you keep going from here and you complete the other steps, that's where you can lose your data. But I don't really care, so we're gonna continue to the next steps. So, you wanna open the menu and change your character's name to who are you. A bunch of creepy things happened in the video as well, like all of the person's family's like names were changed. But that's not happening for me. I'm a little- <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I'm a little skeptical for this creepypasta because a lot of things happen that are not happening for me. But I'm still gonna follow step for step what they did in the video, just in hopes. So anyways, um, apparently when I exit the menu now, I should be teleported to the farm map, and I should be teleported right in front of the boss, who is the bull, and obviously being in close proximity to him will make him attack me. Now this is normal, 
other than teleporting to a completely new map. But anyways, th that that's normal for the boss to attack you. But apparently, if you move while he's attacking you, things will get very, very gory. And apparently, if you attack him back, it'll be even worse. And I have no idea what that means. But anyways, um, yeah, apparently you have to die to the bull, and then you'll be bought back to the savannah for some reason. But anyway, that that's what happens. You'll be bought back to the savannah, and I think the bull will try to talk to you or something. So anyways, here we go. I'm gonna- when I exit the menu, I'm gonna be in front of the boss, and he's gonna be mauling me to death. Well. Okay, clearly that did not work, so I'm gonna be attempting it again. Maybe I didn't do the glitch in the water right, so let's try it again. Let's go back out here and find another lion. Okay, there we go. Kill the lion. Now I'm gonna try this glitch again, because I think for some reason it has to work like, not just when you're mid-air, but when you make contact with the water too. I feel like that'll glitch something out in the game. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but anyways, I'm gonna try to time this better. Okay. I feel like that was good timing, so I'm gonna try it again. This kind of reminds me of the whole no tiger glitch how I had to like time um, leaving the den with going into the menu. It might just be a glitch that's patched. Anyways, change the skin rarity. My eyes are already black. And I should glitch through the map. And I did not. Okay, I'm not gonna try the other steps because if this step isn't gonna work, I think that this whole glitch isn't gonna work. Meaning, like, the other steps that allow me to encounter the forgotten bull. I'm, I am a little skeptical about this one, though, because, I mean, if you're playing single player, I really don't think that any multiplayer... Like, I, I don't think that you can even be hacked in single player, so it's not like someone could, like, hack the game to allow the Forgotten Bull to spawn. It's not like it could be another player. Um, it, I, I can guarantee you that the devs didn't put something gory in this game, even if it's hidden, they wouldn't do that. So, I don't know, maybe it's something supernatural. That's what I'm gonna chalk it up to. Anyways, we're gonna try, I'm gonna try getting this glitch right. I definitely made contact with the water this time, so... Okay. This, uh... Hmm. I'm gonna try it one more time, but this video may be very anticlimactic and... Very short. Okay, definitely made contact with the water. Maybe I'll change it to another skin rarity, like a uh, legendary. Oh no, wait, it needs to be all black. That's right, I forgot. Yep, that's not working. Who knows, maybe it used to work at one point, but I, I think that, unfortunately, this is kind of going to be another one of those no-tiger situations where the glitch that allows you to encounter the creepypasta has been patched, unfortunately. So... That's a shame. Hold on. Um, I did only look at one video for the tutorial, though. So... 
I'm gonna go check some other tutorials and see if there's another way to do this, but I think that, unfortunately, this might just not work. Alright, I'm back, and yeah, no, I just checked YouTube, and there's nothing that helps me at all, um, other than that one video that I just followed the tutorial of that would help me in summoning the Forgotten Bull. So, even if the Forgotten Bull was real at one point, the glitch that allows you to encounter him is gone. It's patched, so I am debunking this creepypasta. Unfortunately, he's not real, at least anymore. Uh, same with No Tiger. The, the Forgotten Bull I'm a little more skeptical about. I do genuinely believe that at some point No Tiger was definitely real, um, but he's been patched out of the game. If the Forgotten Bull was real, um, he's no longer in the game too, so unfortunately that is two, or at least one confirmed dead creepy pasta. Um, so yeah, that's unfortunate. Um, but I still do have a lot of creepy pastas to go in terms of investigation. Um, a lot of you guys have been requesting me to look for Spawn Code. Now, Spawn Code is a real creepy pasta. He is a real person actually and way before my youtube channel i did actually get to meet him he is a very nice person if you actually get to chat with him um i believe he found a glitch or he, you know what he may have been a hacker but the way he described it to me is that, like he found a glitch in wildcraft and that allowed him to be do all of that like crazy stuff so once the glitch got patched he just kind of came out as like a normal person and just started chatting with people. Um, I don't believe he plays the game anymore, but if I ever do see him on sometime, um, I'll make sure to record it if I can. Um, I, I might make like a video on him, but I don't know what else I can do other than the story that I did. Um, I believe there are still a few. Oh, Jeff Cat is another one that you guys recommended me to look for. That is unfortunately fake. I won't look for one if I know it's fake, but I will make a story about him. I might just change him a lot though, because I find that the name Jeff Cat is a bit comedic and it's not really scary, at least to me. So I might just make a story that's heavily inspired by him. Um, but there is, of course, Nidhogg, who is, at least to my knowledge, still a very real creepypasta. I have encountered him before, so I am really looking forward to my next video, which will be about him, if not maybe a story about the Forgotten Bowl. But a video on Nidhogg is definitely coming soon. If you guys know any other creepypasta in this game, please let me know in the comments. If you guys want me to investigate, like, even if it's, like, a creepypasta or there's this hacker that you've seen in the game or there's just, like, this really weird player that you want me to investigate, please let me know in the comments. And thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day.